A state budget plan that would save money by closing several prisons and drug treatment centers, including two here in the mountains, puts hundreds of jobs at risk. News 13's Mario Boone joins us with more on this developing story. Mario, which facilities will be affected? Well, the cuts proposed by Republican budget writers are aimed at Buncombe Correctional Center and the Drug Treatment Center in Black Mountain. Pledging to ease the strain on the state budget without raising taxes, North Carolina legislators taking a scalpel to the Department of Corrections. They're proposing a shutdown of several prisons, citing a dwindling inmate population. On the list is Buncombe Correctional Center near Woodfin. Almost 50 workers at the minimum security prison would be let go, and the inmates transferred elsewhere. Not far away in Black Mountain, the Julian Keith Alcohol and Drug Treatment Center would also be closed, costing over 200 people their jobs. They're looking at it as, as an expense item on a piece of paper. But Reverend Michael Woods of Western Carolina Rescue Ministries says cutting the treatment center has consequences beyond saving tax dollars. There are other detox facilities out there, but if people don't have the financial means in order to be able to access those, then they're not going to get the help. Thus forcing them into a cycle of addiction and crime. Yet some state leaders disagree. They say a portion of the $53 million in savings will fund grassroots treatment centers. If they're going to eliminate it, they need to have a solution that, that addresses the people. Now, this isn't a done deal. The full Senate still has to approve it. Then it goes to the House for approval there.